One of the reasons why we pursue, pursued OKRs um, was because in, in the cloud business at Microsoft for Azure, it's a business that's measured in billions that's growing 76% year on year. And they don't teach you in business school how to operationally support that kind of business. And so OKRs for us uh, became uh, a way for us to drive the alignment and transparency um, in a very agile way. Previously, we were in a waterfall cascade uh, mindset. And so that was you, typically yearly reviews of the priorities. But you need 30, 60, 90 day sprints in order to keep up in this business. And so OKRs for us became um, a much more agile scrum based way to think about driving strategic priorities through the business. We elected to do all at once versus a phased or starting with executives in a secret um, sort of process and then going down or the inverse of skunk works from individual contributors who are fighting for relevance upwards. Um, so all at once was actually um, by design to bring everybody along the journey. So when we ran um, our, our business reviews in the past, what we did was we had a four hour meeting where we actually looked at left to right draining the business and the work back and required to, to do that looked like a three week buildup of building slides um, that oftentimes the deck was 40, 50, 60 slides. And because we were assembling all of this uh, content um, over a three week period, what we found was actually every slide we went to had different time periods of data. So the freshness of the data that you were looking at was always different, um, as well as just the calories required across the org to pull this together was massive. Yeah, the number one thing I've seen is actually teams becoming aware of what their sister teams are doing. It's been fascinating that executives have a great site um, downward from a tops down. Um, but when you think about teams that are actually striving towards the same goals, OKRs have driven a massive amount of transparency between teams where people are actually saying to each other, oh, I didn't know you were driving that. I thought I was driving that. And so being able to rally all of our resources into one common direction has been great. By going to Workboard and having a tool um, and then basically bringing up browser. And everyone's looking at the same data up and down, left to right, and then the timeliness of the data. We're all on the same page from a time period perspective. Um, so it's always fresh, it's always relevant, and we know where we are at any given moment. One of the things around um, shifting to OKRs for us has been this concept of embrace the red. Um, and so one of the things that we've really tried to do is get out of, a, of an executive business review or of a mindset of inspection, which is what people can feel like um, in the initial stages of doing OKRs, where they're almost looking at, here's the activity I'm driving for. And we've tried to shift more towards well, what if you're empowered? What if you're able to say, I'm red because I know the blockers that I'm facing and you can actually have executives work on your behalf where you can raise your hand and say, I need help in this area in order to get to green. And so that's where you get massive alignment across an LT to say, if this is still important, I need your collective help to unblock me to get out of the red. And so that alignment, that transparency has been one of the, the greatest benefits.